My client Rudolf was in this situation in relation with work, family and himself. At work he was the boss in a medium company. He didn't like his job. He couldn't inspire nor motivate the people and he was doing it with a sense of duty. So he was obliged to work long hours to get the job done. That took the best of his energy and the remaining of his time and energy he devoted to his family, especially to his daughter, which he loved. And he used to tell her, please darling, don't do like me. Do something in life that you enjoy, that you love. But of course he wasn't very convincing because he wasn't setting the example. And he didn't have any time nor energy left for himself. So, in our work together, we revert the situation. We start working on himself, reconnecting with the things that bring him joy in life, renewing his energy. And from that place, we work on his family, reforging the relations there, especially with her daughter. And he was now coming from a place of joy, from a place of being authentic. And he could tell her, darling, have some joy in life. And from there, we work on his work, on his career, to become a leader, someone capable of creating a team to galvanize it around common goals and to become autonomous. And magic happened in his life. And you know what? This is just ancient wisdom. <laughs> Confucius, who was mentor for kings, used to advise them exactly the same. He used to say, dear king, Work first, bringing harmony to your heart. Then, work on bringing harmony to your family. And only then, go out there and bring harmony to the kingdom, to your career. And please, do it in this order. Would you like to grow in your career? feeling energized, proud, becoming a key player, creating your unique contribution, your unique space. Walking this path is not easy. You will need clarity and courage along the way. This will be especially difficult if you try to do it alone. So, you might want to have support, guidance. To find out if I can help you, please request a 15-minute conversation with me.